Hello world and welcome back to Let's Code at Tic Tac Toe AI. And um still uploading that last video I recorded, which was episode two. So uh yeah. These are actually pretty fun to make. I hope they're as fun to watch as they are to make. Probably not. <laughs> um So uh last episode we finished or we made significant progress. Um I think we're pretty close to done with our data structure now, um, but we got a lot more to do. Um, I did notice one thing, we want to change this, this is wrong, we don't want to get up or round, we want to do get length. Yeah, we want to get length of dim dimension 0 and length of dimension 1. So if you're following along, you might want to change that. Okay, so now that that's done, we're going to, uh, this episode, we're going to uh, do the rendering of the uh, X's and O's. So we're going to start with an X, and to, uh, to draw an X, it's pretty simple. So let's see. What we got to do is uh, we're going to find a new method. So I'm going to call it Actually, we're not going to override anything. Let's say private void draw x. And this is going to do what the name says. It's going to draw an x at the specified position with the specified width and height. And actually, uh, yeah, forget that I said actually. <laughs> That's what it's going to do. x and y. So that's the x and y position of the x that it's going to draw, and then w and h height. And then we want one more thing, which is going to be the graphics object that we're going to need to pass as a parameter in order to be able to access it. And in order to test this method, we're just going to say draw x, x at um, 0, 0, cell w cell h e dot graphics with e dot graphics so that's just going to be our test thing that's not any final code that's just going to be used to test this and um and here we're going to want to render our x so an x well what is an x it's just two diagonal lines very simple so we're just going to say g dot dot draw line <clears throat> oh shoot, we need a pen. Um okay. So we're gonna want to pass in our pen here too. Oops. It's main pen. Okay. And uh we're just gonna draw a line. So um, we're going to draw a line from 0, 0 to width height and another line from 0 width to uh, height 0. And so we're going to say draw a line with pen to, from 0, 0 to size, or actually no, w, h, actually not 0, 0, <laughs> x, y, W H So we're gonna draw um X and Y are basically zero zero of the X. So we're gonna say from X Y and width height to width height and another line with the pen from uh this is gonna be X and actually not width height, it's going to be uh, width plus x and height plus y, like that. And then this is going to be, um, you know what, actually, um, we're going to do this. We're going to say x2 equals width plus, whoops, plus x. So x2 is basically the far um, right side of the uh, the x. 
and y2 is the far or is the bottom side of the x. So, uh, and this is going to be h plus y. So it's going to be xy and x two x two. X, so it's x uh, x y two x two and y two. There we go. <clears throat> and our second line is going to be x and y two to um, y and x two. So yeah, not y and x two. It's x two and y. Okay. And that's about it for drawing an X. So now we're going to run it and see how it works. Uh, that's not what I wanted. Why is it flashing? Okay, so um, I think I see what the problem here is. No, I don't. Um... <laughs> I don't understand why it's doing this. Uh, it, it appears to be repainting itself again and again. Not sure why, but it's kind of interesting. Let's see. Alright, so um, in order to fix this, I'm going to set double buffer to true. You know what, actually, it may be this. Oh, that's what's wrong. Okay, so um, when I did on paint background in the last episode, I changed it to the wrong, wrong thing, and it's causing it to redraw itself again and again. Okay, so whoops. All right, now we have an X, and it works. Um, so yeah, that's how we're drawing our X. And uh, we can draw that X at any point on the screen with any width and any height, but we're always going to draw it with cell width and cell height set to that. Um, and then, yeah, that's it. So now we're going to draw an O. And, uh, and we're seven minutes in already. Um, so to draw an O, we're going to define another method with the same parameters. So I'm just going to copy and paste these. And I wonder Huh. Alright, I'm gonna have to do some Googling, I'll be right back. So I actually feel a bit dumb now. Because I realized to draw a circle, you just need to draw an ellipse um, with a square. So um, we're just going to do that. So a uh, rectangle to um, actually. Uh, so let's see. Yeah. So to draw an ellipse, it's to draw a circle. It's actually extremely simple. Um, here we go. Just do. X, Y, W, H. We're done. That's how you draw an O. And we'll just change this to draw O. And there we go. Uh, it's a little bit distorted though, so um, there's an easy way to fix that. Just by subtracting one from this, it will no longer intercept the uh, intersect the uh, the lines. Wow, I messed that up. Derp, derp, derp. Okay. That that should work. And uh, that's pretty much it. That's how you draw a circle. And actually, for consistency's sake, we'll change this to 1-1. One, one. Uh, no. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> okay. 
So yeah, that's pretty much all for now. Um, in the next video, we're going to be uh, attaching the board to this, uh, the game board control. We're going to be attaching the, uh, the game board data structure to the game board control and rendering uh, the, the marks in each, each cell. So that should be fun. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, let me know what you think, and I'll see you later. Peace out.